afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another Propaganda Cast Layer. Yes, haven't had those in some time there. Been struggling finding out good topics and good videos for them. But uh, rather figured all of a sudden I had a good match. And I wanted to highlight just, you know, how powerful I do think the assault gun is. And I do think they're sort of a, well, undervalued. But even those who do use them, I do feel like do not utilize the assault gun it is, I would say, to their fullest. So, the assault gun, a 280 manpower unit available for mechanized assault. Obviously, for most, that's going to be in there, but obviously, for those who don't, aren't quite aware of them, that's sort of the basics. They've been called in rather immediately, so you can basically get them out on the field right away. They're sort of manpower wise, you're basically paying the same price as a rifle squad on infantry section. And of course, they're reasonably good up close. So, how do you sort of get the most out of them? This is rather what I'm sort of trying to hope to cover this video. How do you capitalize the most on your assault grenadiers? Overall, like, one of the first things which just is generally just want to push them ahead aggressively. I mean, some people just get them, seize territory. Nah, that's not what I recommend. I just recommend you just try and head out fast. Hunt down your opponent's units early on where they can sort of really get in the most damage with MP40s because up close the assault gun is, will generally beat most units. Of course, the trick is getting them there in the first place. And that's where sort of a lot of players tend to struggle when it comes to the assault gun. It's like they tend to, for example, underestimate the, you know, the utility of sprint. But I'll suggest run straight at it. They never, for example, try to consider other elements like, you know, the terrain. In this case, for example, I noticed my opponent securing territory. There's actually more up here to where he can't then spot me until it's too late here with the assault gun it is because, again, the terrain blocks his line of view, thusly allowing the units to walk straight up to the assault gun it is, giving the assault gun it is, in this case, a chance to just kill three engineers without even suffering a single scratch. And then I can just move and take, for example, the fuel pawn there as I do desire it. I mean, that's all, you know, one of the, uh, I find, you know, a good way to just capitalize initially on the assault gun ideas, and just a good way in general, you know, just try to use this range to your mouse, you know, like, again, in most cases, you don't want to run straight in a line for your opponent, just when you're trying to catch them off guard, unless they're the assault in which case you don't mind being, you know, moving in a straight line, because they can't beat you at all. But in many other situations, you generally don't want, you know, for example, you're going straight at it, you want to, you know, try to get them efficiently up close without suffering too much damage in that way dealing with them and that's rather than again we sort of use the assault gun the sprint ability as we will see in a few moments here as we sort of speed up a bit here for this little bit and there you go penal trooper squad cost a bit more but there you go again we're using sprint here to quickly close in and all of a sudden here the assault gun is in fact winning this pretty solidly again they're not good at medium range they're terrible at long range and of course the trick is getting them close but again that is where i find a lot of people tend to you know struggle a bit they do not use sprint which is a 10 munitions ability but what you're going to allow to just assault gun is to quickly close the distance without suffering too much damage thus allowing them to make full use of the close quarters damage and of course they gain veterans they become better i mean even at veterans one they become a lot more durable and lastly a lot harder to kill obviously you don't want to like toss them away and sort of silly things and of course have to be a bit more careful but at times you can generally just do a lot of damage to your opponents and that way just keep them occupied with a single 280 manpower unit if you use them wisely so in that regard the assault gun is again can sort of be a unit that can sort of give you an extra edge in the early game and of course you can go for more than one for example but generally you want to be i suggest being careful getting too many since you of course have to manage them so that is something there worth keeping in mind other things to keep in mind is, of course, units that work well with the assault gun. A lot of people just go for the assault gun and never try to, you know, gain further, you know, utility from them. But there are units that can sort of maximize further, or at least, you know, put further push the value of your assault gun is further. Units like the 251 half tech for example, work amazingly. It allows them to reinforce the front line, thus, you know, allowing them to just be more, you know, longer on the field, meaning they don't have to waste time running back and forth. You can just be more aggressive with them. You can keep up pressure much more efficiently. So that's, of course, another amazing thing. Now, for example, even the assault goes bad, you can just quickly rush towards the half track and, you know, fix yourself up. So that's already there, just one great utility and sort of gain from just having a half track on the field. Again, it just sort of helps deal with some of the weaknesses of the assault gunners. Again, just again, you know, you have to retreat them at some point, but with this, you can just keep on pressuring them. Again, you just use medic kits from other units because you're generally working with other infantry to heal them up and then sort of just push them back into fight, vastly allowing you much, much more out of your assault grenadiers, much more firepower much more lethality and that's just of course one side of the uh, skill we say synergies between the half track and the assault gun these again the ability to just reinforce keep them on the field for longer but there are also other ways you can just make better use of them and that's just using the half track to then of course make use of that initial bit they're just getting them close to the enemy without taking too much fire of any that way you can just rush machine guns catch them off guard and destroying them 
which again just further highlights again their salt gun. They just have a lot of ways you can utilize them for maximum effect. I mean, for example, here rushing the heavy machine gun team, catching them off close, and again doing a lot of damage. In fact, an awful lot of damage almost taken out. There we go. He pops into the house, will quickly follow up with the salt grenades, which will likely either destroy it entirely or force it up, which could be then destroyed in detail. So already here in a matter of moments, again, we're looking at like 10 minutes into the match again. Solid aggressive use of the assault grenades has pushed them halfway to veterans. You three already with 14 kills. They have done a lot of damage and already destroyed an entire heavy machine gun team in conjunction with a half tech. Other units you can, you know, working together with is for example the mortar with a smoke screen, thus allowing you to attack also head on without taking too much fire, getting suppressed, thus allowing to get into safe range with the sub machine guns and the grenades. And that's all what you always want to consider when using the assault gun. It is how can you get them up close to the enemy while taking minimal damage and doing maximum damage. Sprint is one way, half tax is another, and smoke is another. Otherwise, you try to use the terrain so they can't be shot at as much as possible and then get up close to your opponent. But again, just working them together with a half tank can gain you an awful lot out of your assault grenadiers. So that is a reasonably good thing to keep in mind. And again, just one of those things, when people always go for assault grenadiers, they never do any of those things. And I always have to go, well, why not? You just gain so much more value out of your assault grenadiers by doing those things. I mean, again, just increased mobility for the assault gun can just allow them to sort of head in wherever you need them. That's again in the upper hand wherever you need them. In many cases, if you sort of play your cards correctly. Again, here, penal super squad spotted, quickly pops out, kills them, forces them away. And of course, the half tech can further support them with firepower, thus making them even stronger. And of course, they can then feed the half tech a lot of experience as well. Thus, again, they both work together to create sort of more value together than they ever could achieve on their own. So, really, I think the half tech and the assault gun is just an excellent sort of. Uh, pair of units that just work amazingly to well, well. And, and overall the half tech works great with a lot of other units but in that sense again the half tanks and the assault gun leaders do have something a bit more unique there and again here hey machine gun team in a house again we sort of try and take a path that isn't too dangerous quickly pop up there again assault grenades quickly clearing it out very good ability forcing them out into the open doing a lot of damage again if they don't wipe it they will in some way you know be forced out into the open they're easier to deal with assault gun is it now again 10 minutes into the game, veteran 3, 20 kills, tearing apart units left and right up close. Again, I have to be careful here, but they are also at this point pretty tough. And up close, the only unit that can sort of realistically deal with them is shock troopers. Like veteran shock troopers can deal with veteran 3 assault grenadiers. Any other unit will up close lose to assault grenadiers. So, really, sort of, you know, a good series of things to keep in mind. Again, smoke, terrain, half tracks, sprint. Really sort of the key elements to getting the most out of your assault gun it is. And again, just try to get up close and do as much horrible damage as you can do to your opponent. As a fun fact, the assault gun is score from this match managed about 1,700% efficiency and roughly almost it one third of all the damage I did in this match. Again, one assault gun is scored. Again, not just you know blindly running my opponent, but using them skillfully, tactically, and basically just aiming for as much damage while working them together with half tracks and other units. I was able to do an awful lot of damage to my opponent. So, well, handler assault gun units are pretty good. You might wonder then, well, how do I deal with them? Well, obviously, again, one of them is just to shoot them from range. Again, they suck at long to medium range. They're only good up close. I mean, keep them a distance, shoot them, that's good. Suppressor weapons work well, as long as they aren't getting smoked up. Maneuver by half tax, of course, you want to be careful with that. Mining your flanks, mining your approaches, so it's hard to for them to use any of those things, of course, are very good ideas. And overall, another weakness for them is vehicles. They do not have any way of dealing with vehicles unless they grab a pantrick and a tank rifle or anything like that from either dead panzer grenadiers or some of your units. So that is also a very important thing to keep in mind. There again, they are very vulnerable to vehicles and in that regard can easily be counted by the vehicles without the vehicles having to worry remotely. So in that regard, you have, of course, several counters to the assault on this. But overall again, just use sprint, use half tax, use smoke, and almost use terrain to get your heart assault on this up as close as possible and that way do as much damage as possible. I mean, a lot of people just spam them, throw them at the enemy, you know, see, oh, they're dying. Well, they're terrible because, again, they refuse to use their abilities. But again, here, Veteran of the Fear Assault Squad sprints in because, again, there's no case. Otherwise, gets up close. And as you might be noticing here, absolutely demolishes these Veteran of the Two Penal Troopers. They do not stand a chance. They are powerless against the might of the Sturm Grenadier. And also, again, in this case, the only thing that saves them is the arrival of the T-70. Again, one of the, you know, one of the more directly 
units that can sort of counter it. So again, they do have counters again. They're not like, you know, completely, utterly nasty busted nuts against some people might, you know, claim now they've seen this video, though again, they've never talked about it before for strange reasons. But again, use your assault gun these cleverly in conjunction with other units, and they will be a very powerful unit that can do a lot of damage. And as you can see, they can very quickly do a lot of damage to Russian units, including support weapons, thusly also very quickly clearing out those support weapons that might be giving a problem, allowing you to either seize them or destroy them for your own purposes. So overall, I think this propaganda cast layer sort of covers, I think, sort of the major details of getting the most out of your Mechtiger as Sturm Grenadier, your mighty assault grenadiers, doing the most you can with them, and of course, making life miserable for your opponents. And lastly, you should be now better equipped to use them towards your enemy and gaining glorious victory for the Wehrmacht. So hopefully this video has been educational, has been helpful, has given you some great insight on how to fight with them and of course fight against them. If it has of course like, subscribe, share and comment on it. Of course a big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters with which uh, this episode would certainly not have been possible. A big thanks to all of you. So this is Imperial Dane signing off and saying remember to use your assault grenadiers for maximum potential. Cheers everybody.